What's up guys? We are back here in Shadow Quest RPG and one of the cool things we've talked to the developer a lot here this dungeon mission over here is going to give you a special premium hero when you beat it. You can see here the reward is a tier 2 premium hero. So those right there are going to cost 600 of the gems. You can go over here to the hero hall, the top and you can see you can summon them and there's also going to be ranking up so moving forward it looks like there's going to be all the way up to tier 8 heroes and as this guy says they are 30 percent more stronger stat wise they also have additional perks and we have enough to hire someone so let's go ahead and hire a hero here they all come at the max level that you currently are or maybe not the max level maybe very very close so it looks like we're uh i think we're level 15 here and it looks like they're gonna come at 13. so i think this is the one that i wanted to pick up here looking at the perks she's like a suicidal mage lots of extra damage her skills here ignites flames the damage an enemy and a random one after that, and then the back skill deals instant damage to all enemies and burns them for two turns. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this chick right here. Jesma Fireborn. So we're going to hire her. And you get a, a decent amount of premium currency, so it's been a couple of days. We've accumulated uh, over 800 there just by playing the game. When you sell weapons and armor you're going to get a small amount of premium currency you're also going to gain some through just natural progression in the game clearing missions and stages and then from this daily chest up here so you get it every three hours you can click on the goblin chest and as you keep on clicking it it gets more and more and more uh, higher level so we're at a currently a level three goblin chest you can also pick up some of those gems through just normal winning rewards like this let's go ahead and throw our new hero in here so let's check out the camp and now we have our new premium hero let's see the enchantress i think we'll get rid of this one the alchemist so the shaman we need Oh no, the Enchantress. Alright, so let's, let's place the Enchantress. Now let's go load her up with gear. So once again, all these things that we don't need, we're just going to sell. To get rid of them. And we're going to get four gems out of those sales. So anything weak, we can just go ahead and sell. You can also break some of them down. So this ring, we could break down and we can get elemental essences. Break that thing down. All right, let's jump into this dungeon. Ooh, treasure chest. We're going to get... Looks like we got a couple of gems there, actually. I'm going to go kill these mobs right now. So for those that have not seen the game in action, yeah, this is a turn-based strategy game. You have positioning matter. So you have a four-man squad, you got a front line, the first three units are in the front line, the back unit is in the back line, and generally can't be hit by most attacks. In the back, you actually get power bonuses, like different power bonuses than if you were in the front. So if we swap people around during the fight, they'll use different skills. So let's turn off the auto fight for just a second and explain this. So 
So we can swap her, and then now her ability will be different. So she's going to be a healing type now in the back. Whereas if she was in the left side there, she'd be dealing damage. We're going to swap her over, because since she's on the right, she couldn't attack there. And we're just going to keep healing up right now. And that's the gist of the game there. So it's a, a new twist on the RPG, the old school turn-based RPG games. We just found a trap right there. That right there is going to do some, some damage temporarily to one of our units. It looked like about a 50% decrease in something for 15 minutes. So once again, we will swap her into the back. And now she's going to be able to throw Breathe Fire on everyone there. Every hero has different abilities, so you're going to have different combinations. So he just rooted the person in the back there, so we can't swap her out of that back position anymore. And the best thing that I found out, the dev said that all heroes are accessible in-game. You can earn them in-game through the dungeons. By simply completing there, you're going to get a random hero that's available to you in the hero store, or you can purchase them with the the gems and you can earn those gems in game there's nothing that is completely out of reach for free to play players the enemies are pretty cool nice sick animation on these enemies uh, i do wish that the attack animations would kind of be more i don't know animated or just entertaining i guess you could say the attack animations don't really stand out too much in my opinion here the other thing is the music and the sound definitely, I, it's not really catchy. Uh, I mean, I, most people I don't think play with the sound on. But a good soundtrack can definitely go a long ways. So it's weird because I'm a huge fan of Japanese RPG games. Old school Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, love those games. But the thing is, once you start playing Shadow Quest RPG, you start to realize the reason that those games are so good is a combination of the music and then the story. And that's something that is severely lacking here in Shadow Quest RPG. The story is almost non-existent and it's very bland. Definitely worth a look though because it is a free game to download and try out. <sighs> so if you are playing Shadow Quest RPG, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking of the game, how far you are, what your favorite heroes are. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for watching guys.